What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and Philly while we sit to talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerd gas now we're about to get into uh the partner review of the spoilers if you guys are here's the thing i am doing two parts of spoilers i'm doing some with prime and i am doing something i'm doing some with quattro as well so you know you guys can listen to how you want to do it but right now this is the spoiler section. You guys have been warned. If you don't want to see spoilers, man, cut this video off and then, you know, say we're going to move on and, you know, say make sure you, you know, subscribe to the channel and all that great stuff. But now, you've been warned, we're going into spoilers. So now, probably we are now officially in the spoiler section. Cameo. I like the cameos in this. I... I'm going to tell you right now. Now, i only seen two trailers. I, and you, you mm-hmm. see my reaction to those two trailers. I've seen... I think I've seen one. I, I, I seen and I tried to stay away from yeah. every other. i seen the first one, and then you see me, and then you say, you see the second one? i seen the second one. That's all I've seen. So I, I, I don't watch TV spots. I don't watch other yeah. international I shows. Don't I, I don't watch... And I don't listen to what people say trying to uh, do the whole thing. I said all this to say, the Wonder Woman cameo shocked me. The, yeah, the Wonder yeah. Woman cameo because I, at first I was sitting, I did not see that coming. E- even look, that and in Shazam, I didn't see the Wonder Woman thing coming, and that's probably because I didn't watch any of the trailers or things like that. But see, I, I got spoiled for the Shazam because like when they said now in theaters it was her, and I'm like, why would you, why would you spoil that? Yeah, like you know how like on YouTube and stuff, I was watching YouTube and it's like her talk about it. Uh, what did she say? Next time or whatever, keep keep dreaming, or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, why would they show that for a commercial on you? Like, I was, uh, yeah. So that's spoiled me, and then yeah. But <laughs> I, I did, I enjoy, did enjoy cameras. I enjoy Wonder Woman because I enjoy like, hey, we're gonna wrap up the, the DCU. Superman fighting the volcanoes. It, it's Henry Cavill Superman, but we don't see Henry Cavill. So yeah, I mean, I understand that, but uh, we got that. It, it, it was a a like a goodbye thing to the DCU, and I also like superhero movies where. When you're in this bigger this bigger universe and you and you ask yourself like like the Flash is so like what's Superman doing or what's Wonder Woman doing or what's our fr- friendly Terminator doing like why is anybody doing say well I gotta get ready to go to work and that's the same thing I felt as though like in the Marvel movies when it's like you know and Captain America's dealing with the threat like hey you know you want to just call Tony you know you need some help like that or something like that and, and uh, it's still in your movie but you are still part of a team. So having Wonder Woman come in and save Ben Affleck's Batman, I thought was really good. And, and now I know a lot of people did not like the whole Lasso of Truth joke. Yeah, I did. You didn't like it? Oh, I thought I, I laughed at it. I thought it was funny because I didn't like it. I didn't like it because nothing came of it. Okay. Like if he if he was to say the joke, and then like. Maybe at the end of the movie or something, you know, like something that can come of a joke. Then yeah, but just saying a joke just to be awkward. It's like okay. Yeah, no, I mean they did tease the whole Wonder Woman Batman flirtatious stuff. Uh, they did mm-hmm. in the, the Just League animated uh, series, so I I understand that. But um, I I could understand what you mean by you know nothing coming of it. But I I I, I, thought, I laugh with some certain things, but it was just like. Okay, yeah, he tried to get it off, and then the, the the part I did find funny was the Flash stuff talking about him being a version. I was like, I didn't need all that. Yeah, like, he took off, so yeah. And then uh, they just standing there awkwardly. I'm like, first of all, this is Batman. Batman would have definitely been shot away. Yeah, and, and not have an <laughs> awkward conversation. What what are we doing? Yeah, it was. He would have been like, isn't that my Batman? He would have looked and then gone. Yeah, smoke bombs. <laughs> did they also did make a joke like, wait a minute, why is our friend Batman dealing with this stuff in the middle of the day? Because Batman don't usually deal with stuff in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm surprised you're awake at this time. Yeah, so I was like, okay, so that was a, especially it was early in the morning. Remember, now, the Flash was going to work. 
Yeah. Now, I will say, though, I would have liked the first scene if it was more action, less chasing. I mean, that, like, that bridge was, was pretty heavy on the action. No, I'm saying it was action, but it was like a chick. Like, I would have wanted, like... A fight. Yeah. Like, say if they fighting, and, like, they getting away from that. Like, I... I <laughs> this gonna sound mean, but I don't care. I could care less about this hotel, fall, this this hospital falling. Like, I would have rather <laughs> wanted to see, like... Get, like, get like a, a, a villain that's not as big. Like, get, like I'm no scarecrow. Somebody running away, yeah. around the bank or something. Or Riddler or somebody... Clayface robbing the bank and then Batman trying to catch him then Flash that's trying to help them stop like you know like how they how they doing Flashpoint where all oh, these villains are, have something on them and then the Justice League come in at the last minute and then save them like yeah because if, if you're going to have more Justice League members in it I would you know like don't you, you know like just I want to have an action scene I mean, I don't know how much money Gal Gadot is making, but this is her third <laughs> film this year of just being in it for like less than two minutes. <laughs> and she I want to know what she's getting paid because, like, it must be good because she's the last three movies I've seen her in, she's been in it for less than two minutes. Yeah. So. Well, well, so well actually, the, the, the Shazam one was, was, was cl- closer to five minutes, but still, I get what you're saying. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say two minutes. I would say five minutes overall. Then, yeah, said, five minutes, two seconds, and like a minute and a half. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I get what you're saying, but I also understand why they did the scene like that because they, you, you need it every time you do like a speedster style movie. You need to illustrate the speed, and they did the same thing with Quicksilver in both those in X Men: Days of Future Past and X Men: Apocalypse. They they showed off the speed with the slow motion, I mean, him saving everybody, but we. <laughs> We could have had him. We could have had him disarming the car, or chasing the car, or like I'm, if you don't if you don't do a car chase, you mean to tell me Batman not gonna have, like if I'm Batman, I'm like Flash, chase after them. Yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. But the, the whole point of Flash being there is because he needs him to save the big building. And usually, when you do a car chase, okay, remember Sonic in Sonic Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where it was when he was trying to be, he had to disable the whole car. Yeah, but it, it's more funnier when you do it fast. He didn't slow down. It was like it's so fast. The next thing you know, the guy was just sitting in the seat. That's what it probably would have been like if the Flash was going to disable the car. And honestly, if the Flash is going to go stop the car and get the guys out the car, there's no point for Batman. So you kind of just killed the whole Batman scenes. So I mean, <laughs> because Batman could do something else. <laughs> That whole Batman scene was like it, it, it felt like it was taken right out Batman the animated series. And the Flash saving those, those babies uh in the building is a thing to help illustrate because I like I said, the concept of it was nice. Now, of course, you know, the VFX was off, but I'm saying, but the concept of it was was real, was nice of how he saved the babies. And they also explained why you can't just take a human and move move them in the speed force. Because you know, best with the inside, they'll throw up, or if it's a baby, they'll just descend, they'll die. And I like how he had to find a way to place these babies, uh, uh, in a way to save them. You know, opposed to you know how it was like with Quicksilver. And I, 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 I thought that was, I thought that was really dope. I thought that was really dope for that. The other cam was at the end when we got to see George Reed Superman. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the black and white, I enjoyed that. When we got to see Jay Garrett's Flash played yeah. by the actual guy who played Jay Garrett in the Flash TV series. Are you sure? That, that, that's the same guy. That's the same guy. I, I oh, because sure he, he definitely sure. was like, I seen the post, he was like, I don't think I did that. <laughs> but to, to, to be fair, he, he didn't, the, the Jay Garrett role was back in season two. So okay, okay yeah. So okay. I mean, you know, they, 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 they finished season nine. So that was almost 10 years ago. So I... Okay, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about these. I, you know, let's talk about the cameos first, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to the what I was gonna say later. Yeah. Okay. Um. So in this, in in the theater, I saw the long hair, and, and my my first thought, it was just probably wrong. My first thought, like instantly, I was like, "Is that the guy from Superman Returns?" Because they looked like the same little, like ocean thing from Superman Returns. But I was like, "No, that's not." And then when I see the long, the long, like the long, because. That Superman had like his hair wasn't, you know, like it moved in the wind. 
Uh-huh. But then when I seen like the extra long hair, I was like, uh oh, is that who I think it is? And then I seen him fighting the spider. I was like, oh my God. And then people was looking at me like, I'm crazy. I'm like, that's Nick Cage. And he was like, yeah, okay. I was like, so I'm the only one that knows that Nick Cage was supposed to be Spider- Superman fighting the giant spider? Look, look, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. That is a. Uh... The, the the same thing I, I jumped for because even even my son didn't understand. I was like, "Yo, that's Nicholas that's Nicholas Cage Superman right there." And he was like, "Okay." And I was just like, "But y'all don't understand the history behind that yeah. of how he was supposed to play Superman by in a movie directed by Tim Burton called Superman Lives, and it it, it fell apart to the point where he made a documentary called The Death of Superman Lives. What mm-hmm. happened? Uh, featured Nicholas Cage. He had the suit and everything, and then he also had that '90s Superman look. If anybody reads the comic runs from the '90s, Superman had long hair. Yeah, and, and that's what it was. And I was just like, and and they had the giant spider, just like the, just like uh, they they wanted the Superman the Superman to, uh, to to face in the movie, and and they had him doing it here. I was like, yo, that that is just major callbacks right there. And I mm-hmm. and I thought his C, I thought his CGI looked looked great. Yeah, I like that. Look, he looked like '90s Nicholas Cage. Not, you know, obviously not Nick Cage now. But he looked like I don't think I don't even think they got him in there. I think they just used CGI. Yeah, like obviously I don't think he came to set. But like, you know, the one with uh, Christopher Reeves and uh, Supergirl. Mm-hmm. I I probably, probably would have. I I'm pretty sure you could take audio from from Superman and put it in here. Like, oh, we gotta go save them or something. He just looking. Hey, what part are you talking about? When 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 Christopher Reeves and Supergirl show up? Yeah, I'm saying I would have liked if they would have took some old audio or something to make him say something because we really get a whole fight scene with Nicolas Cage, but yet for for Christopher Reeves he just sits there and mm. looks. Okay, I that, probably would have had him do something, or I don't know, maybe. I, I mean, I'm well, asking for too much. Every, everybody, no, I can't say asking for too much, but everybody was already upset of the whole. Christopher Reed, uh, C- being CGI, and I was like, I didn't. Well, he can't be there, so what? You, what you want? I, the look, I, 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 I agree with you on that one. I, I really agree with you on that one. I was, I was saying, <laughs> I'm just like, saying, it ain't like they can go and you know get him to do CGI to to be in it. So like, what they, they, they trying and, to say he shouldn't be in the movie? And they had Helen Slater who played Supergirl. Back in the eighties, which was terrible, mm-hmm. but still, uh, she she played super good back in the 80s, and then and they, they were both there, and I was like, okay, that was cool. I thought the CGI of Christopher Reed looked good. I, I I know they were trying to uh, use like they, people was wanting them to use archive footage like they used in Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, but I, mm-hmm. I was like, it's still fine because Christopher Reed is he's passed he passed away, and I'm just like, and Hella Zella's old, so I'm just like so. Use CGI for what they look like back in the seventies and eighties, and, and op- open that portal. Adam West Batman was in there with the Caesar. Yep, Adam West, yeah, yeah, the Caesar, the Caesar Romero Joker lab that was there. I mean, I thought it was going to probably show like Christian Bale at, at one point. I mean, you know, okay, I, I'm going to get into this now. I, I guess we'll sure. get into this now. I've heard rumors of three people that was supposed to be in it. Yeah. Supposed to be Heath Ledger's Joker in it. Oh, that would've been great. Linda Carter's Wonder Woman in it. Yeah, I didn't hear about that too. And then, of course, Henry Cavill, Superman. Yeah. But and one of them had 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 a bigger role in there too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, imagine if we would have seen like you know the Joker the. Uh, I don't, maybe I don't know told me that you wonder why I got these scars or you know something yeah <laughs> or Linda because Linda Carter was just in well not just but she was in one on one so she could still like she could yeah. she could do something that that, but, that that is the only thing I would say that I was a little bit of upset about was I was like <laughs> it this this is this is a closure of the DC EU. And I understand. Yeah, I wish they would have done more of a tribute. Yeah, and I was like, I understand it's only been thir- it's only been fourteen movies in ten years, but I do I still would have liked to see a overarching DC type stuff. Like I would have liked to see uh, to just look like, like I said, Christian Bale's Batman. I uh, to see even another Wonder Woman, like you know, saying uh, 
the, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman. Uh, of course, who, who doesn't want to see Henry Cavill back? Obviously, but you know, I, I would have loved to see those, uh, and even archive footage, or even st stuff in the cartoon, stuff in the CW. Like, I would just want to see. Gr I really thought out of all the cameras you just said, Grant Gustin's Flash is the one that kind of stings at me. Yeah, him and uh, the, uh, what's the other, the older guy? Uh, the one that plays his dad on the on the TV show. From the from, one that from the nineteen nineties Flash. Yeah, the nineteen nineties Flash. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I understand it. I, I, I would like to see now. I would like to see Michael Rosenbaum, who played the Flash on the, who played Wally West on the animated series. Like, cause that's that's what I was saying to you about Spider Verse. I wish I had seen this first in Spider Verse because Spider Verse had all those cameos. Spoiler alert! I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it, so I'm not even. Okay, now I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I I, I would have loved to see, you know, how they would did it. But for what for what we did get though, like you know, because the Nick Cage thing, I wasn't even expecting. Yeah. The yeah. Nicholas Cage Superman, I wasn't even expecting, and just to have that in a movie in a way was just phenomenal. Uh, George Reed and and Anna West Batman Shore. You know, uh, I, I I was cool that the whole you know black and white era. Yeah, I was I, I was cool with all that stuff. So those cameos, I liked. I, I, I like I said, I can sit here and go on and on about Henry Cavill's ca uh, cameo, but you know, I get it. And j just Grant, Grant Gustin, I, I was really hoping for that Grant Gustin cameo. I was really hoping for that, but uh, unfortunately, we, we we did we wasn't able to get that. So yeah, but, I mean, but. I get that. Uh, now you honestly, hit, I, say it again. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say I probably even would have did something as far as like looking for different, like act like different other villains like Freeze or uh, a Riddler or. Um, we'll see. Those those are Batman villains. We I got, know what I'm saying. Like, we got Flash villains. Like, like when he was in the, in the Corner Bowl, we saw Cat. Captain Boomerang, you know, we, we got to see that him and Suicide Squad, so we got to see some of the Flash villains in there, but I understand this being more of a Flash movie, you wasn't going to get those kind of cameos. Joker yeah, I'm, not, I'm just saying, like, just any, anybody that's been in a, in a DC movie, they, like, I would have been trying to, like, hey, can we use your footage, or, you know, like, can we do, like, you know, something yeah. just to make it seem like more of a bigger world, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, I, I can understand that, I can understand that. Because if the worlds are colliding, you want to make it seem like bigger than what it is. Now, the, the talk about one, one of the spoilers that, that you want to talk about, the the death of Michael Keaton. Oh, excuse me, the death of Michael Keaton is Batman in the movie. Yeah. I See, I knew it was going to happen, but <laughs> I I knew it was going to happen because obviously it happens, but like, it was one or two things I was like, I thought at the end he's going to go back in time and bring it back or something different happens. Like, and I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just a, a big movie fan. I guess like his death did not seem like it was just weird. It's like we tell me Michael King, he just gonna get on his knees and just give up. <laughs> like he, he not gonna get shot out the air. Or, like his first death was fine with me. <laughs> but uh, bro, first, you, you, you do gotta realize the man got slammed down by what what is the 2013 version of None. Who was the big brawling? No, I'm he got slammed by like a eight foot Kryptonian, bro, on the ground, Damn. bro. Hit his insides is pizza right there. But I'm saying him going out in the blade in a blaze of glory like Jacob in Fast and Furious <laughs> would have been cool with me. <laughs> but him, spoiler alert, my bad people. Yeah, but him, spoiler alert, like people care. People him. Care. He was doing good though. I, I'm just saying, maybe it's just the the movie person and me of him, quote unquote, giving up. He he like, all right, I'm staying. All right, I'm gonna just get on my knees. Because okay. even when I seen it in the trailer, I was like, why does that look like the scene in um in Endgame where Tony's holding? No, not Infinity War. Tony's holding his own hand, but it looked like he was holding somebody else's hand. Yeah. And he's crying. I was like, why is he? I know he's not about to give up. It looked like he was like surrendering. Yeah. Okay. I gotta say that, but. When yeah. I seen it in the context of the movie, I was just like, the man can't stand no more. It, it wasn't even I would've, I'm saying. he couldn't stand no more. I'm like, hey, this Batman, I would have had him going out getting destroyed. Bro, did, did, 
Did you dist- Did you not see? I'm more, dis- more destroyed. Uh, uh, <laughs> more I'm, destroyed. I'm telling you, when the flash got to him, did you not see him bleeding out of his suit? That yeah, he was still he was bleeding out of the suit. The, bro, you do you know how fucked up you got to be to be bleeding out your suit? Yes, this I'm man saying. Got, this as a man, stubborn, Batman is the most stubborn person. You mean I would have had him knowing he about to die, but still, Bruh, attempt. The, the, he got taken by none. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna call call. And he, got, he got taken by none, slammed to shit. Still got yep. back up and placed all these bombs on him, where the inside of his stuff was like Michael Jordan's foot at Mass Square Garden in '98 mm-hmm. when he brought back the Jordan ones, mm-hmm. full of blood. You want me to tell you? You won't tell you why. I think my mind is thinking like this because I'm such a movie person to where they'll fight and then they'll like uh, hit the last blow, or whatever, and then they'll like faint or fall out. Yeah, I can. I mean, it, it was it was more for, for a moment to the point. It was just like, hey, I'm gonna have a touching moment with you. You can't win this, but you did bring me back, and I thank you, and I'm dead. Yeah. Because other than that, I, I was just like. <laughs> A- 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 after 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 the bomb went off on Nunn's head and he just fell down, he was just like, "Bro, I took a w- like I got my yeah. ass whooped today." Yeah. And like he just fell down. I would have wanted him to do like I guess I'm yeah I guess I'm dramatic. I guess I would have wanted him to do like the uh oh the little you know how they faint and they fall down. I did and then and then Flash comes comes over to him and say, "Oh my god, I guess that's I guess I'm a yeah I'm a movie death person." So I'm like. Yeah, I mean, look, that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm, hey, hey, Pry, I'm a big, I'm a big movie buff here myself. So, here's the thing: I, uh, and first of all, I already knew knew, knew they was going to die because if we're going by Flashpoint, Thomas Wayne don't live neither, you know, and neither does Superman. Like all, all of them die. Like there's no saving that planet. No matter that's what the, po- the whole point of it is. No saving. No matter what part of the the cart you put the tomatoes in, there's no saving that world. Uh, but seeing Mike Michael Keaton and, and, and them keep dying, I was like, that that's what was going to happen. And that's how we're going to create this whole paradox thing. So, I mean, I, 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 I get it. And like I, I, like I said, I, the first death, yeah, he, he went out, he went out like a G. But the second one, he went out like a G also, still fighting till the man went dead. Because them bombs was exploding and no one flinching. Not till the head one went off. He wasn't flinching. And I was just like, he just said, yo, get off me. And smashed it to the point the man was bleeding through that damn rubber and leather. Like, yo, bro, that, that you got to be effed up on the inside tonight to, to, to be bleeding like that. Also, since we're in the spoiler thing, the one thing I want to talk about that I feel as though I didn't like is the antagonist is not the reverse flash. Not in this movie. We know he killed I did, I Flash's mom. That. The director even came out social media and said it drew a picture of the reverse flash. Like, yeah, he's the one that killed Barry's mom. But the the real villain in here is Barry himself as that oh. Salvatore. Okay, now if you ever see season three of Flash, there's this like Sa- Salvatore type character where it's really like Barry from the future. Oh, okay. Who okay. has who has kept going back and messing things up. He became like an evil version. Well, that's what this was. It was like Barry, because every time Barry kept trying to run back, he kept getting all these Kryptonian weapons stashed up against him until he turned like this one big sharp monster looking thing who kept trying to change the speed uh, change the speed force over and over again to save his world and he's been doing this for millennia and he, he's he's old and messed up now and that was the main antagonist of the movie and I was like okay I understand that and we, we this villain is in the comics as Dark Flash I still wouldn't want to see Reverse Flash but I understand that they, they want to see it for the sequel but after it didn't make that much money at the box office I don't know if that's going to be coming now which sucks to me. So, so sometimes with these DC movies, I be wanting them to go all out, you know, and do everything all out, uh, because you never know what the sequel's gonna be like. Because you never know what side the fans are gonna lean on. And that's why I was kind of like, even if we got like a little inkling of the, of the Reverse Flash, I would have enjoyed that. How'd you feel about it? I'm gonna. If, if anything, I would put Reverse Flash in the mid, in the post credit, not what they got in the post credit. Oh. Yeah. oh Yes, or at least have at least have somebody looking at a suit, and then they pick it up and it's yellow and red. You know something. Or I would have liked if 
here, here's my post question I would have liked. First of all, th this is how I would have did it. Because at the end of the movie, when Barry's back at the courthouse, we get he gets a call from Batman, or he gets a call from Bruce, and Bruce pulls up. Who it's not Ben Evan that gets out the car. It was supposed to be Michael Keaton that gets out the car. Mm -hmm. To set him up as a new Batman. But he didn't do that. So now George Clooney gets out the car. Mm -hmm. I actually hollered. Like in the movie theater, I actually hollered. I was like, no! Because I hate Batman and Robin. I love George Clooney as an actor, but I hated Batman and Robin. And I was like, don't bring this Batman back. Because now okay. just, just a quick a quick quick question, right? Yeah. It was it like we so and what we know, what we know and what what has happened. It was supposed to be Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, and Michael Keaton was supposed to go on to do Bad Girl and Aquaman. Yeah, his scene, his whole movie, <laughs> Bad Girl got cut, and his scene in Aquaman got cut for Bat Flick. Yes. So. So, because that part. <laughs> first off, Flash is supposed to be the, the movie that came out last in the in the schedule. Remember, mm -hmm. it's a whole it's a whole placement thing. Aquaman was supposed to come out before Flash was. And yeah, ben and then it, huh? but in in the Aquam in that in that Aquaman, it was supposed to come out before Flash. So then they did a scene with that flick. And then it's yeah. like, oh, now it's gonna come out after Flash. So now we gotta do a scene with Michael Keaton. But now yeah. it's coming out after Flash, and then they removed the Michael Keaton scene. And so it's like exactly. So right now, I hope it ain't George Clooney because right now, the new Batman Brave and the Bold is supposed to be an older Batman because he's gonna have a son. I don't think this will be. I don't think it's supposed to be that old. Uh, it's gonna be older enough, but or I would say in his forties. Maybe. I'm about to say this for this. I would say that. I'm just saying. Because uh, Clover is like, what, 16? 60 what? Yeah, 60 and up. Because my, my kid's in the 70s. Yeah. So, But Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, they could have did Batman Beyond or something like this. Which was part of the plan in the first place. Yeah. If they get like, if, say if they do get George Clooney to do Batman, Brave and the Bold, that mean let me take my uh, George George Clooney got a got a son that's thirteen. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, honestly, um, but, I think they, they they're gonna make Damien a little bit older. I think Damien may be in his twenties. I think this he's gonna be a teenager. Oh, but he's, if he's a teenager, yeah, you, you gotta you gotta be at least make that Batman in his forties then. But. Nonetheless, I I do like the the joke and the sarcasm though. At the end, he was like, <laughs> "Bruce," he was like, "No, no, you're not Batman." And then Clooney looks at him. He was like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm then not Batman, like, shut the hell up, type thing. And then, no, but then he says that he says, "What's wrong with you?" And then Ezra has a funny sarcastic line. He was like. <laughs> Batman, uh, Clooney does a fake laugh, and then Ezra's like, eh, 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 no, no, because yeah. like, <laughs> I do that a lot. Where it's like, I, I will fake laugh, like, eh. like, uh, I don't know if you've seen that Chris Paul meme where he laughs in front of Steve Kerr, and then as soon as he turns his head, he, he, he does a straight face. Yeah, oh, I think I did see that. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, eh, eh, you're not cute, you're really not Batman. I don't know who you are, it, it, exactly. Yeah, and so here's what I would have did because. I would have had the car pull up and when the feet get out and it's Bruce and then I would have Barry be like, yo, who the F is that? And end the movie right there. So yeah. it leaves suspicion. Like, who's the next Batman? Because then, then you can place in whoever you want to be in Bat, the Batman Brave and the Bold so you wouldn't mm -hmm. have a joke. And then at the end of the post credit scene, after Flash realizes, like, okay, I don't have Bruce back. I don't have Harry Cavill back. I don't have Gal, Gal Gadot back. Let me go back and try one more time. And as he's trying to go back in time and he uses his flash ring, the reverse flash suit pops out. Mm. And showing like, I got you. And then when Barry goes back in time, it's too late. Then now we get a new Barry. 
to write Ezra Miller off. That's how I would have did it. Because that way you get you get yourself a new Bruce, and you know why there's no, you know, Wonder Woman, and there's no uh, 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 all these other ones. But and then it, it still gives me a little cameo of Reverse Flash, of what could come in the second movie. But then it also showed that Ezra Miller is being erased, and we're going to get a new Flash. I, that's the way I would have done it because I felt as though having George Clooney there for a gag is a waste of time for what, what we're planning here at, at, at DC. Yeah, especially how there was like we're gonna only do one premiere, one one actual premiere because we don't want people to spoil the the, the, the surprise in them. Like really, really, yeah, George Clooney. That that was y'all surprise. Exactly. Now, it, now, if they do want Clooney back, he won a bad Bruce Wayne. I mean, first of all, it also it was the ring in the Batman movie. If they do, if they have Clooney back, I don't mind because this is not gonna be that. It's not gonna be Batman forever. I'm definitely gonna have bat nips and all that. Yeah, so yeah, I we'll personally, that. I personally think all that stuff is gonna be erased. So I wouldn't mind. I'm just saying, like, he's obviously not gonna like. He obviously can't be right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Thinking like, I, I don't. It all depends on what direction they want this brave and the bold thing to go. It, it really, it really is. But so. That's all the the, the real mouse spoils I have. Is there, is there anything else you want to talk about that that we didn't cover? No, nope, that's it so far. I'm gonna just leave everything else to you know uh, when y'all do y'all review. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go into the box office bomb, and I'm gonna go into the ranking of the DCEU. And, uh, and partner, you you know you know you always welcome you know to join. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just don't know what your schedule be like. So also, uh-huh. I, I I think people people underestimated the the dam the, the damage that uh, Ezra really did because this movie should not be bombing, but like Ezra has hurt it so much to where people don't even want to go see it because of Ezra. Yeah, like he has, you know what? Not just even that, he has hurt this movie on in a way that it, it the timing is bad because he, he has done so much bad shit. People don't want really to want to go and support him, and then so that all the other actors in the movie can't go promote because the late night talk shows is on strike because of the writers' strike. So they got nowhere to promote mm-hmm. this stuff. So they got to get the Hollywood actors to go in there, like Tom Cruise and James Gunn, director himself, and Stephen King, to go see these movies and put out on Twitter, "Hey, this is one of the best superhero movies you know of all time." Because hey. They, they, they had a reference to me in there and I, I enjoyed it so the fans are going to pay attention to that they're, they're not going to pay attention like that he has done damage like he did his own multiverse thing he did a real bad damage to this movie alone and then on top of that if he didn't do all this damage they would have to spend all this money on marketing they probably could have they probably could have had more money to spend on the VFX and on top of that if uh when it, when it, when it came to the marketing they probably would have to do so many damn screenings. Like, this movie, I understand it's a big movie. Y'all ain't by to see it. But y'all was doing screenings for free. They even had screenings up here in Philly. And I, and I was like, to the point where quite often me, like, hey, you want to go to, go to uh, KOP to go watch the screening of The Flash? Or, or, or you want to go to one in Jersey? I'm like, really? I could just... Take this ticket and go watch the Flash, and and you didn't have to pay for anything. There's half your money right there. After the first trailer, I was already sold. You was already sold. A lot of people was already sold because they was like, "Yo, you was sitting on this Warner Brothers. You had Zada here, and this was the Supergirl. Everybody was sold on the movie. And then Ezra Miller, you know, is doing his thing. They saw the second trailer, but then after they kept Ezra Miller, and they was so scared about what was going on. What, what, honestly, what they probably should have did was give some kind of public punishment because they, they they have no problem spreading rumors and stuff about Jonathan Majors, right? But they did do it. They they, they didn't do this with Ezra Miller, so it, it's rubbing people the wrong way. It's like because you didn't even. The, the thing is, because as of right now, Jonathan Majors hasn't been fired from anything, but it ain't looking good. On the Ezra Miller side, they had a chance to at least publicly say, "Yo, this wasn't right," and he needs to be punished for, it, or or he's going to have to be 
removed from the flesh, all that kind of crap. But they didn't do that. They they ignored it, which made it worse. The more you ignore it, I'm like people. A lot of people, they go people to people that's gonna be like it's gonna go away. But that's one of the reasons why this thing bombed like it did. He 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 really fucked this whole thing up. He really messed this whole thing up, and it, it's sad to see a good movie like this and it get messed up like that. It, it, that's just sad. Either here or there. But guys, that was me and Prime spoiler review. So stay tuned. We're going to talk more spoilers. We're going to talk more DCU and more Flash right here.